Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Martoni from Body, Mind, and Spirit, and I'm sitting with my co-host, Megan Gilroy. And Megan is a spiritual teacher. Thanks for being with me, Megan. You're welcome. And Megan, what brought you down this road of, um, of spirituality? Well, my awakening happened a couple years after I graduated from college. And up to that point, I was pretty successful in life. Everything looked good on the outside. And then I have what I call the two by four method of spiritual awakening, when life just clonks you over the head. And I really experienced heartbreak, betrayal. I wasn't doing well at work, which was causing financial problems. And when I put all those things together, I was starting to get a little depressed. And so many people have these kind of elements going on in their life right now. And so for me, it's really important for people to understand that you're not alone, you're not crazy, and that if you're willing to go through some of those challenges, let go of some old identity, some old beliefs, you can actually have a more fulfilling and authentic and balanced life. Oh, great. Now, what is, so after the transformation or the awakening, mm -hmm. what does your life look like now? Well, my life now is completely different. I have what I would say an ordinary life on the outside. I'm a wife and a mom and I have a career mm -hmm. juggling all those things. But inside, it's really fulfilling and peaceful and contentful. And so I you know, have gone from someone who had $50,000 in debt to owning a beautiful home and a beautiful community and being really heartbroken to being married to this amazing man, my husband, and having children. And you know, having all that kind of turmoil inside and really questioning why am I here, who am I, to having more of a sense of contentment and excitement and passion about what it is I do and really the whole life I experience around me. What action steps, so how can you engage um, our viewers to take some action? What do you hope to, that they can take from the show? Mm -hmm. Well, I think for myself, I really started my whole process by stopping and doing, not doing the things I thought I should do, and started turning inward and listening to what my heart said was important to me and meaningful to me. And that really created a big shift inside of myself. And I spent a lot of time in silence, meditating, sitting with spiritual teachers, and I know not everyone can do that. So I have really distilled the essence of the process I went through into five choices. And these choices help you see the obstacles we create in our mind. They help you let go of the old emotional patterns in your body. They help you gain clarity on what's not working and also what you might be inspired to do in your life. And I share these on my segment on the show, Mastering Your Life, so you can Visit our website, tvforyoursoul.com, and I've posted lots of other activities and resources that will help people get started. Well, Megan, thank you so much. This is a very great insight into kind of what makes you tick. So again, visit tvforyoursoul.com. I'm Dr. Peter Martoni, and this is Megan Gilroy.